Hello, my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. In this week's video, we're gonna cover how do you show an object that has been hidden by dynamic zone visibility that you are having trouble getting to show again. Okay, so first of all, just a little backdrop if you're like dynamic zone visibility, like hit me with a refresher, what is that? So dynamic zone visibility, it's like a, it's a relatively recent feature in Tableau in the grand scheme of things. I think it released in 2022.3. And what it allows you to do is dynamically swap out objects, um, there's a, if you tie a parameter to a Boolean calculation, you select an object in the dashboard and you tell Tableau to control visibility using that calculation. So in this case, I've set up a worksheet swap so that I'm swapping between uh, life expectancy uh, bars uh, by country and then a life expectancy map uh, by country or I don't know. You get the idea, right? So that's uh, the very basic premise of what I set up. Now, a little background there. If you're like, I could use a primer on what all that is, check out the description down below. Uh, we've done a couple videos on dynamic zone visibility in the past that you may find interesting. And one other thing I should say is that while we're using dynamic zone visibility for a worksheet swap in this scenario, it can be used to swap pretty much any object in a dashboard. It could be a color legend, a size legend, a filter, a parameter, an image, a text box, anything can be swapped uh, with dynamic zone visibility. So the inspiration for this video about like what happens if the object is hidden with dynamic zone visibility like but won't come back, um, this happened uh, with a client and I, we were sending a workbook back and forth. I had a newer version of Tableau where I'd set up dynamic zone visibility. Uh, he was working off an older version of Tableau that did not have dynamic zone visibility. So as we uh, sent the workbook back and forth, some of the uh, you know functionality would break. And the problem would be that I would make a selection, like I'd click on bars, but it would just be stuck on map. It would not switch to bars. It would say that the bars worksheet was in the dashboard, but I couldn't see it. And even but if I selected it, it was like there was nothing to be seen, right? There was like no sliver or, or anything. So I was like, okay, well, what do I do now? Uh, I think even if I like removed it and added it back to the dashboard, I, I was still running into issues. And so, um, yeah, did some did some trial and error, did some digging, and found a solution for it. So kind of real real quick. Speaking of client work, um, if you're ever looking for help with Tableau, like you can always just comment or message us or send an email. But also if you check out this link up here in the corner, this info button, um, we have office hours where you can book us to just work with us directly. We've got five different classes that cover 64 hours worth of live instruction uh, where you can learn about Tableau desktop and data modeling and Tableau prep and visual best practices. So we'd love to catch you uh, in some of those formats as well. Um, okay. So like, let's say I couldn't get the bars to show up and no matter what I did, I'm clicking the swaps and it's not working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop over to my layout menu. Okay. And what I can start doing is just start going, drilling through the menus until I find what I'm looking for. Right. So it says it starts with a tiled container. I select that. There are a couple different horizontal containers. I think this first one is where the title is. I think the second one is, is what I'm looking for. Uh, oh no, I was wrong about that. So actually this one, this is where the title is. So it must be this vertical container down here. Now, I also want to show you a shortcut. Like you can just keep clicking through all that. But another option, if you have the item hierarchy pulled up already, if you click on an object, like I click on the map, it will actually just show me where in the hierarchy that this thing lives. So you can see not only is the map there, but there's the bars sheet next to it. So this is actually not a scenario where the workbook is broken. So like, as you saw, as I was switching the parameter, the worksheets were switching. But what you could do in the scenario where it's broken is right click on the object that you can't see. So I would right click on this worksheet, life expectancy bars. And then I would say show container. And what that will do is boom, like that worksheet will show up and then you can, you know, take it out of the dashboard. You can remove the control visibility using values. I suppose the other nice thing here is that now I've got it selected. I could even just deselect the control visibility using value and it will just show up again. So either of those works, I could do that or I can right click and say um, show container and, and both of those will sort of 
restore uh, the worksheet so that I can work with it again. And like in, in the scenario with my client and I, I just needed to set it up again because um, then he updated Tableau and, and everything was fine. But I had to kind of go back and fix it because he'd made some other changes and the workbook back to me. It was kind of a whole, whole deal. So uh, I hope that was helpful. Let us know in the comments if that did work. Uh, let us know in the comments if you're still running into any issues after attempting uh, either of those uh, fixes. And yeah. We'd love to see you here again next week. We drop Tableau videos every single week. So uh, go ahead and subscribe and we will see you again soon. Thanks.